Yeah, hello there and uh, welcome back to a new lecture over here and today we will learn about the Kotlin null safety. And basically if you have been programming in other languages like Java previously, we were developing our Android app using a Java and at that time we had one uh, very serious problem which was a uh, null reference. So whenever we were referring to a null, uh, any other uh, any object that was null, then we were having a problem of a null pointer exception. So that was a runtime error and it was a huge problem for us. And basically that would crash our application if we were pointing to some null objects or null. So uh, with the help of the Kotlin, all of this has been solved and uh, basically it has eliminated all of the danger that the null references should cause in our code and uh, let's go in a practical way and see how the Kotlin has eliminated all of this problem for us. So let's go to our activity over here and I have already opened my main activity and as well as the uh, activity main uh, which is our, our layout file and here we have one uh, text view which is also known as the ID as a text view over here. So let's go back to the main activity over here and let us create uh, one variable. I'll just say as a private where I can just say as a text, which is of a, let's say, a text view. And uh, this text view, we will we'll create a variable of a text view and I can say that this is, uh, I can put uh, one operator which is which we call it as a, a question mark from here or we can also call it as a safe call and safe call operator which is also known as safe call operator is equals to I can say as a null. So basically this means that the text over here the text is which we are creating a variable of a text from a text view is a null. So basically this we can call it as a nullable type. So here the text view is a null. We have put a reference of a null. So it's pointing to a null value. So the text, the variable text is pointing to a null value. So let's go to the onCreate over here. And uh, what we will do over here is I can just say as a text dot set. Sorry text start a uh, set text right set uh, so yes it is set text and uh, or we can just make it as a uh, text it uh, equals to we can pass some data as let's say a uh, hello sf is safe call and uh, what i'm trying to say here over here if you check put a cursor over here you can say on this only safe call are uh, uh, non null as a uh, not non null asset and call are allowed on a nullable null receiver type of text view. So what we can do over here is we can do a uh, we can check over here for a nullable. So if we see a safe call, we can make a safe call with a question mark operator. So basically, when we are putting a question mark operator over here. That means it's a safe call. Safe call basically means that uh, it will check for whether this is this text, which is of a text view, is null or not. If it is not null, then it's going to run this code or it's going to assign a value for us. But if this is a null or which is a text, which is basically we have assigned it to a null value over here, and if it is null, then it's not going to run. So that's very simple, uh, we can say, right? So here we can just give us some comment over here and say as a safe call. And with the help of a question mark operator, we are taking for a safe call. So safe call basically will check that whether this text is null. If it is null, then it will not go and assign the value or run this code for us. And if, if the text is not null, then it will just go and check this one. So uh, let's try to run and this application, just run it. And let's wait for the gradle build to finish. 
So the build has successfully finished and let's uh, launch our uh, a video over here and you can see we don't have any text on our text screen. So that means that uh, this the value is not set over here. And let's try to set the from here it's a node. So what we'll do is we will assign we'll find a ID for it. Text is uh, equals to let's see uh, find uh, view by ID or uh, the, the ID dot and we will find it as a text view right I think let's go and copy this one the text view and r that id that uh, text view and that should find a reference id for us and this should not be known for now and now it's not now and it should go and say the hello safe call for us so let's run the application one more time and uh, let's wait for the gather wheel to finish and it should be uh, just a few seconds and let's go back to our a video over here and we should see the data over here okay right? so why it's not showing is because i think we have changed the launcher activity let's go and check for oh yeah while loop so what we will do is we will change to main activity let's go and run our application one more time and uh, let's that should fix the issue for us yeah we have a hello safe call over here and uh, let's go back to the main activity and let me try to make it as a null and let's try to run the application one more time and we should not see that we should not see that text anymore so we have a hello world so basically that's from over here and if we assign it if we assign it and uh, let's run it one more time and basically we should see that uh, hello safe call should print out over here and uh yeah let's wait for the application to launch yeah we have a hello safe call so that's uh the safe call that we are making over here and uh, next we can also make use of a non non types so basically that we have to make use of uh, another operator call so uh let's make use of that one and i'll just go over here and uh what i will do is uh text dot uh sorry text dot text each uh equals to and uh what i will do over here this let me copy as a uh, non null types and just paste it over here and uh, here we can assign a not null as such an operator which is basically of the sign and we have our uh, this operator is what we call it as a non null operator or we can also call it as a not null assertion operator and uh, basically if it is what it does it, it should check that if this is not null then it's going to assign this value but if that each if the text is a null then it will throw an exception for us so that will cause an uh, exception it will throw an exception for us uh, basically that will cra crash the app so let's go and uh, run the application one more time so this we uh, we have already assigned a text to our reference with the text field so we should get our non null types let's run it and you can see that we have a non null type but if we make it as a null over here so basically this is null now the text is null and let's run the application one more time and that should give us a error over here and if you go to the log cat over here and that should give us an error I where is the error? I can see that error. Let's clear it out and uh, let me go and run the application one more time. And uh, let's find for the error. Yeah. So error is over here. And if you see the error message, you can see that some Java that runtime exception unable to start the activity. And uh, we can see that Kotlin null pointer exception, which is similar to our Java null pointer exception, but we have a Kotlin 
no pointer exception over here. Uh, which basically, this will check uh, check whether it's done now. Not if it is not now, then it's going to uh, create a value for us. But if it is now, then it's going to throw an exception for us. So that's the two difference between a safe call and we uh, we can say that it, uh, another this operator is called non null types. Or uh, what we can also say that this is uh, let me give us some comment over here. And we can say that, that this is a uh, not, sorry, it should be of a not null. Uh, we can say S-E-R-T-I-O-N, not null exception. Um, basically, which means this operator is a not null exception operator. So basically, it's going to check whether it's uh, if it is not null then going to assign a value but if it, if it is null then it's going to basically throw a exception which is a Kotlin null pointer exception so that's a two difference between a safe call and also a, a not null so in this lesson we learn about the Kotlin null safety and also safe call and also not null not null operator so that's all for this lesson and hope you guys understand we have uh, hope you have a understand we were here about the Kotlin now safety and let's meet up in the next lecture till then have a great day